Welcome YouTubers to another lesson from Stoddard Tutoring on mole conversions. In this problem, we will convert from grams of one substance to grams of another substance using just the chemical formula. Here we are given 9.42 grams of sulfur trioxide. This problem asks us to figure out how many grams of sulfur are in that sample. Here we know we have to convert from grams of one substance to grams of another substance. In order to do this, we will have to convert to moles. Don't forget moles is very important. First, we will convert from grams of sulfur trioxide to moles of sulfur trioxide. We can do this with the molar masses of sulfur and oxygen from our periodic table. Next, we will convert from moles of sulfur trioxide to moles of sulfur. You will see that we're going to use the subscripts in the molecular formula to do this. You might be tempted to skip this step because the subscript is 1, but if you are be a beginner just learning chemistry, I would recommend showing this step so the units work out in your conversion problem. Finally, we will convert from moles of sulfur to grams of sulfur. We will do this using the molar mass of sulfur obtained from the periodic table. So these are the three basic steps we will use to convert grams of sulfur trioxide to grams of sulfur. This is a pretty common type of chemistry problem you might encounter in chemistry. So, in this step we will start with 9.42 grams of sulfur trioxide and begin the conversions. Let's write it down here. Here are the snippets of the official IUPAC periodic table for sulfur and oxygen. One sulfur comes in at 32.66 grams per mole and three oxygens comes in at 47.997 grams per mole. When we sum these up, we get the molar mass of sulfur trioxide, and we can now write grams down in the denominator and place moles up in the numerator. Here you can see how the units nicely cancel out. Now that we have moles of sulfur trioxide, we can begin to think about converting to moles of sulfur. In the formula SO3, there is no number next to the sulfur, which implies a 1. We have one mole of sulfur per one mole of sulfur uh, trioxide. So we can write the conversions like this. We place uh, one mole of SO3 on the bottom, one mole of S on the top, and you can see how the units again nicely cancel. In the final step, here we need to convert from moles of sulfur to grams of sulfur. Again, we use the molar mass found in the periodic table. Here we see that one mole of sulfur weighs 32.06 grams, so we can set up the conversion by placing one mole of sulfur in the denominator and 32.06 grams sulfur in the numerator. Here again you can see how the units nicely cancel out. After we punch this into a calculator and round off to three sig figs, we get 3.77 grams of sulfur. Make sure to like this video if it helped you and subscribe for more useful chemistry tutorials. Thank you for watching.